Generic greetings back on Starship Corporation. After I did my preview video, there was so many requests to feature this some more, and I'm more than happy to oblige. I know there was some people saying they wanted to see a series, but um, I'm going to clarify now. I don't plan on doing anything with it like that just yet because it's the classic example of a diamond in the rough. It does so many things right, yet it's also got many issues that I went through in the preview video and things like that. So not ready just there, I don't think. Not for me anyway, but uh, more than happy to do some singular videos and um, enjoy some beverage with it as well. Hmm. Today's beverage is green tea that's actually getting a bit cold. Anyway, I'm going to try and build. Last time I built, hang on, let's just have a quick look. We made the, that's his G2 tutorial ship, but I've actually got another one. Actually, no, I've started another company because my other company actually went bankrupt, which is, yeah, not good. I want to uh, design a, probably a it's probably some sort of cargo vessel. The last one I did in the preview was a cargo vessel, so maybe a slightly bigger one or something slightly different. How about, oh, how about a small tanker? So a small tanker, design a small tanker with uh, these features. EEV times two. Okay, we've got a EEV. That's emergency escape vessel or vehicle, whatever. Uh, shield generator S. Now, I have taken the liberty of unlocking a lot of stuff, uh, and that is one of them. It doesn't say I, I don't have it. Docking clamp medium two. I've got them and I have to use the Yanmori 2 as well as the fusion I actually think I have one now let's just go to my technology tree and you can see just the stuff that I've unlocked the thing is because of the way the game works is the the, the like the the lower technology you have the more annoying it is to make ships you can see I've got like full connections just because I think that should be a standard feature of the game but uh, yeah look medium water tanks medium quarters medium air tanks fuel tanks things like that maybe a large fuel tank would be quite nice as well but I don't know how long will that take let's actually let's just no I'm not I was gonna say I'm gonna begin the research and finish that off but one of the one of the big problems with the game is that um, a lot of these designs here it'll pop up and say make this and you might like the idea of making it, but you might not have the technology. And by the time you've researched that, the design's already come and gone. And by that time, you've already spent lots of money. Like, for example, I've only done research. That's all I've done on this save. And um, I've spent nearly half the money that I started with. Anyway, small tanker, let's design the ship. So, uh, do you want to switch to the design menu? Yes. Yes, I do. So... This is our contract, and we need to select our, let's see, fuse large is the Yanmori 2, which is that one there, and we will click start design. So, we need to do, well, several things. Let's have a quick look at the overall layout first. You can see it is, it's not bad, it's uh, not a bad bit of, like, the actual terms of size, it's quite good. We'll go up to the other floor, and that's quite large as well, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's okay. That's not bad at all. Right, so we need to fit in an engine and we need to fit in a couple of fuel tanks. Now, I'm guessing putting the fuel in the biggest area is going to be the best case scenario. So let's just go to our... We'll, we'll probably put the engine and fuel in first. You can see we need a total fuel capacity of 650 tons. So let's go to... We'll go to engines, uh, so it'll be main engine. I've got this engine here, which is quite long, and I've also got this one here, which is a little bit smaller, but I believe it's slightly better. So this one takes um, 100 tons of fuel and requires four technicians. Yeah, and what else? It requires a bit of cooling... And it gives me speed plus 12. And this one, the advanced one, is actually slightly smaller and a lot more efficient. So I might as well have this one. I might as well just use this one. Now, I could put it right at the back there, but then that leaves this little bit of a gap around the outside that I can't really do anything with. So perhaps um, like this? No, no, I think I think that might be okay. What, what if I put it upstairs? What if I, can I fit it in there? That fits exactly in there. So I think that's where we're going to put it. There we go. So that's our advanced engine. Obviously, we've got some of these... Uh, requirements so we need cooling we need um, fuel and we need um, power so fuel is going to be the main issue this is a tanker after all so we do need to connect rate things up so let's go to a storage which I am in now actually go to fuel and we see we've got medium fuel tanks so if we spin these round we can fit a medium one in there medium one there can we fit two more in oh we can't fit two more in that's a shame I was going to say if we could fit two of them in there that would be fantastic so let's just can we move this along up to here we probably could although I could just have a straight line like that but that's going to take a lot of space which I don't really have let's put these Let's put them in like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up uh, one floor because what I want to do is put in the fuel tanks, probably one there and then probably pause a second or, or drop the tool rather and put another one there. And that gives us 400 uh, tons of fuel and I could probably fit in a couple more fuel tanks. Um, 
that would be 500 tonnes. So what about small fuel tanks? Can we not rotate them? Oh, it would be nice if we could rotate them and put them there. What about a small fuel tank in here as well? No, small fuel tanks, we can't really fit them in. It's because you can't put stuff next to each other. It's slightly annoying. If I put two small ones like that, that will give me 500 tonnes again. Not enough. So we're going to have to go back to... Uh, the mediums and then jump back in here and then we'll probably put one there and then one there so we now have that many fuel tanks uh, in this thing and that's hopefully enough it is enough 600 tons so we'll have to connect these up so one there and one there and then same thing here one there and one there now we have a slight issue that you've probably spotted and that's that these do not click uh, connect up between the decks so this thing here we can connect up to that and that like so and then obviously we can then connect that to there and there but we don't connect them between the decks i can however go to infrastructure and then to connections and then go to fuel connection and then place it so it goes down now actually need a quick jump up and round so probably uh actually this one is the one that should be going up so fuel connection going up and then we can place it um probably be nice to put it at the front there, you see, but we can't. Can I put my engine further forward? Would it? Would it? Would it work? If we, no, it wouldn't work at all. Putting put it there. The problem is that these, the way these things are, can I not rotate them around and have them like that? Would that not be better if I just rotate them like that? Would I save some space? I think I would save some space if I did that. I'd save a fair bit of space. I actually move them over. A little bit more so i might do that you know what i think that's going to be better even though it's not symmetrical i don't think it's really efficient to make a symmetrical ship because you, you, you spend too much time messing around with placing this that and the other so that that seems to be fine in fact what we could do we could even be a bit of a maverick and get rid of these two uh pull that off get rid of that go back up and then put the other two fuel tanks in here so we need uh back to storage i think storage and then medium fuel tank we could put another one around here in fact we could just put all of the fuel on this deck no you know what that's not going to work i think i think what we had here was perfectly fine i think that's more than respectable so that's fine but we do need uh, in our infrastructure a uh, fuel connection and it needs to be i guess it needs to be around here ideally although um here would be nice there that could work so if i click on that and then join these fuel connections up like so then go back to the other deck we can see that that now will connect up to all of this why is that one not got a connection there we go it finally generated a connection and there's that there's all them fuels connected so these go to the different areas so all these fuels then connect up to that this is good this this actually functions wow okay so on this area we need a couple of different things we need to do small generators oh sorry small shield generators. so let's crack on with that let's go to i think um it'll be in defense i'm guessing defense and then stealth now nah, shields okay small shield generator so i can put a generator there and i'm going to put a generator there now i don't know how many you actually need but i'm going to place four of them like that to protect the front because this is a fuel tanker i really do want to protect this thing so that should be okay i i could probably get away with one of them actually let's have a quick look uh that would protect the front but obviously the whole point is we make a good rating so that should be that should be okay that should be more than sufficient we then need to have uh, no missiles here. We don't need that. Uh, we don't really have any way of steering the ship, which is always a slight issue. So let's put a small bridge in here. So we could put it at the front, but my 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 issue with it is that if we do that and it gets hit, then we pretty much die. So it's not a good idea. I also really want. I think probably putting it at the back might be not a smart idea either. We'll put it. We'll put it in places. Mm. Mm, actually, we could put it sort of on this deck here. There would be fine, I think. No, no, I don't like it there. This is, I think, where we had it around here. Would I mean, putting it in the back there means it's very protected, but I think we can put some more storage there. I think we'll put it... Oh, you know what? We are going to put it there. It's got a lot of shields around it. It should be fine, he says. And then it's going to get ru ruined. Uh, obviously, we need a computer, which is... Yeah, now this is the, this is where everything starts to fall down. So, you know what? I am going to move it to that corner like that. And then I'm going to put a standard computer in probably one of these corners. That corner there would be fine. Even though it, it needs to be connected up with power. It doesn't need to be connected up to that. Although, slight problem. These things do require you to... Um, have pilots in them so you know what i'm going to get rid of one of the shield generators i'm going to move it i'm going to put it there because i think it just seems to fit in the front we'll get rid of the shield generators and as long as we fulfill the requirements of shield generators we're okay there we are and then we'll pull the bridge back and then we'll move it to say i don't know i think 
think where it was is fine, but then we can move this over to about there. But then we've got a lot of gappage on that side, but that's just... Uh, the, the fact is that you're always going to have some gaps around places. So we'll put it about there, and then we'll put something else in the front there. Um, right, what else? Because if you can put stuff next to each other, it would be a lot easier, but you just cannot. So... If we move this, if we put that there, now move it along to there, move the bridge along to there, and then the computer can go there. That means we've got connections between them all. I'm happy with that. That seems to work. Right, okay, so there's all that put in. What haven't we got? We haven't got energy, we haven't got technicians, we haven't got docking clamps. Oh, we haven't also got, uh, I believe, thrusters we needed for this. Uh, docking clamp M, sorry, docking clamp M. So they'll be in... Where would they be? It'll probably be in uh, probably be in infrastructure. No, hull extensions maybe. Yeah, docking clamp. There it is. And these go on the outside, so you can see they just sort of clamp on like that. And I think probably that is a fine place to put them. There we go. Excellent. So that's uh, okay. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to infrastructure once more, and then connections. We want to have a. Uh, I think a lift will be fine. Then we'll put a lift right there, and then that means we can actually go between the two decks, which is always useful when we're trying to navigate a ship and, you know, have actually wander around the place, especially if we're delivering pizza to the other decks or whatever. Mm. So far, uh, ship uh, design rating is 138 of 141, so not bad at all so far for a little bit of work. We then need to put in, well, I think life support is, is generally classed as a good idea, so let's get on with that. So... I think we will need how much? Actually, no. What we'll do? You put in the you put in the pilots and other things first, and then that gives you roughly what you need. So I think we'll go for berthing, and then for pilots, we need a total pilot number of two, zero of two minimum. The number of pilots available uh, and the needed two. So pilot quarters three actually gives us three pilots, which is obviously more than we need, but that's fine. I I'm more than happy to have uh, that amount of. And then we can go to technicians, and technician quarters medium gives you four technicians. Again, more than what we need, but it doesn't really matter. As long as we have enough, then I'm more than happy to just have that there. And that gives us a total of seven of seven, which is slightly problematic because... We then don't have any medical personnel, so actually I am going to have to get rid of them, because the medical personnel we will need to mess around, I say mess around as if they're going to play with, no, as uh, we, we need medical personnel for, um, oh that's a nice position there, pilot's right at the front, I hope an asteroid doesn't hit it, um, yes we need these things in, you need medical personnel, actually they're technicians so they have to go downstairs, we need medical personnel to fix and monitor the life support so pilot quarters that's one and that'd be two if i place it there but i don't really like that positioning actually i'm more than happy with the pilot quarters going there and there and then actually i'm going to go to technicians and the small technicians one there two there three there they all fit in there you go and now we need to put some life support so we haven't got any air. air. Yeah, we haven't got any air. <laughs> and we haven't got any power, but we'll get to that later on. So, probably require... It says 0%. Energy supply and cooling supply. Let's put in storage. Water tank. And what tank will probably go at the front. And... That should do us... Actually, we don't need a big one like that. We just need a couple of... We need a slightly smaller one. Where do I want to place this? How much space have we got on this deck? A l not a great deal. What I'll do, I'll place them down here. Two large water tanks, because we can. And it means if we do expand later on, we'll need them. That's water tanks. Air tanks. Same deal. And... What's the best place to probably I should do uh hundred and twenty percent again, that's fine. There we go. Fine for now, but we haven't actually got any life support put in yet. So life support can go in here. So that requires Oxygen. Oxygen is now in. That's fine. And 
what else does one need? A crew limit, we're going 71%, so we're not really maxing the crew limit out. Let's get some power down here. So I have a rough... Uh, how much... It would be nice to know exactly how much power is acquired on this deck. It doesn't actually tell me. So... Engine requires 100 power. 16... Uh, let's go to... Drop that. So, 100, 200... 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So, 300 plus change. Which is two generators by my reckoning. One there, one there. Alright. And that's without uh, a major expansion. So that's fine. Uh, what we'll do, I tend to run a big power line down the center. And then move it along. Uh, probably down to there. I tend to find making what is essentially a bus bar down the entire line seems to work quite well. It's also quite efficient. Don't want that one. There we are. And then same thing here. And then these ones as well. Alright, so there's that in that's the entire, you know, all connected up, all sorted. Same generators down or uh, up here rather, because this is the uh, deck above. So we'll have a generator there and a generator there. There's two generators, and then we'll connect them together. Like so like so. Alright. Then we'll again run a bus bar right down here. And then, like that. It's like a little bit of lag on the mouse, which is weird. Or oh, it doesn't snap as I f it, f it sort of feels like it should. There's all that connected. Lovely, lovely. Okay. So, there's that deck all connected up. Excellent. Cooling. Getting there now. So, it'll be cooling. Cooling unit medium. I don't know how much cooling one will actually need, but I think we'll we'll fling down a couple. Shame that can't go there, but I can go there. And then we need to go to infrastructure, and then to hatches, and then it's cooling hatch. One there, up one, one there. All right, and then obviously we'll connect all of our cooling as well. And this can go similar to the other one. There we are, and then we do need to connect this up to power. That's wrong. Okay, so that entire deck is cool, as far as I can tell. According to this, more than capable of uh, supplying what we need. Actually, we'll might as well run this right down the centre, like so. There we are. And then finally this. Obviously, that's going to generate. That's not going to generate anything because we haven't actually connected up the generator. And there we go. So now that's all the cooling done. So we haven't got any uh, water treatment. That's an oversight on my part. So water treatment will be down here. We do have enough space, I think. So health, water treatment, and it will fit in quite nicely about there, right next to life support. So water treatment, and where are we going to put it? There's a water tank, got two of. There's that connected up. Uh, in terms of power, I need to go to power generator. And there's that. All of this is in the green, apart from medical personnel. No problem, we can sort that out. We... Have we got everything here sorted? Again, doesn't seem to be anything shouting at me. We'll go to our birthing, and then medics, and then medical quarters. And we'll put a medical quarter. Ideally, you want it on this deck, because this is where everything's going to be. But sadly, I think, because of the layout, it's just not going to fit. Regardless of where I move this, it's not going to fit, which is... Really, really annoying. Um, is there anything I could do to fix that issue? Uh, no, I don't think so. Fuel could move up. No, even because even then she's going to move two. And it, no, that, I could probably spend five minutes changing that around. But in reality, I've got so much space down here. There's no reason for me not to just put it there. Okay, so. That's all that's sorted. A lot of them seem to be on this deck anyway. So you can see it says six of seven. Uh, we've got two of that. Three, two. So really, we're only really short on one crew member for our max out. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to 
um, get rid of the tech there. I'm going to move the medic over to the front. I'm going to get rid of these tech ones as well. And I'm just going to put tech quarters medium in here. Just so, because we get we get five tech, uh, four tech personnel with that. Would that fit? Oh, that would fit in very nice there as well. So let's actually pull that back to there. I'm actually going to pull that back to there because then that can come back. And then it means easy connections. Actually, no, it doesn't because we need access to the bridge quickly. That should be fine. That can go to that side. And then tech quarters, which go in there quite nicely. And then we are 100% for our connections. Excellent. -y. So power generation. And I don't think I actually need the two generators here. But let's just try it. If I pull that off there, what happens? It actually says that we are... Air supply is not enough. So let's have a quick look at air supply. So I don't have enough air supply. Let's get storage in. Storage. Air. Can't have that one small. Ah, this is going to be problematic. So, problems. I haven't got enough air. There's my medium air tanks there, right? Haven't got enough. The only place I can put them is here. That would happily fix it. Where am I going to run it to? It needs to come up a deck. Not, hang on. Air tank up there it needs to come down a deck. So it's going to have to be infrastructure, connections, air connection going up. And again, we've got the problem with the, the gap of two. So... What can I do about this? Well, I don't know. I think the only solution is to put that across there, put that across there, bring this to there, which that means a bit of a rewire, but I'm more than happy to sort that out just in a second. It shouldn't take much rewiring. It should just be that. There, now we'll connect it back up, as far as I can tell. Yes, uh, we need to go to our fuel. Actually, will I pull down to there? That will be better, actually, for what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's much better, now that I see this. Um, so, fuel. See there? Not connected up yet, but now they are. So, there's all the fuel connections. Or rather, there's all the fuel connections. Okay, so there's all the fuel done, and it connects up easy there. More storage over this side. In fact, we've probably made enough space that if I get rid of that air tank, I think it's actually, it actually might be just too small. Storage, air tank, it's not going to fit in. Small air tank will fit in if I just put it there, and then it means that actually we can just do that. Hang on. And by my reckoning... That should be about right if I just connect up power. Mm. There you go. Slight problem. Not enough power on this deck now. <laughs> I can't. No. It can't be. One, two, three. I know what's happened. This will fix it. There you go. Sometimes it doesn't generate generate. Uh, it doesn't recognize one of the generators, which is interesting. So this generator we can get rid of. We don't need that. That fuel bit is there. That's fine. So now all we need is uh, everything's in the green there. You can see that's fine. Little close to the bone. So if we lose one of these fuel tanks or anything else, uh, we're gonna have like mission failure. But it, uh, it is all connected up. You see, it's 179 of 141 for the design rating. This is good. So we don't have an exit hatch, so let's fix that. We're just going to through the, go through the, basic, the, the basic stuff now. Air tank not connected, apparently, so I should probably sort that out. It'll be this one, will it? Uh, no, it is definitely connected. I can see that that is, that is the case. So why is that saying that we haven't got an air tank connected? I don't know what it's on about, so we'll connect them up to there. Then that up to there. That seems to be fine with me. Go to that top deck and then 
go to oxygen. There's definitely, that's fine. I don't know what it's on about. EEV, uh, we'll put them in. So emergency, we'll put our escape vehicles in. So we'll put one there and one there, right next to the computer. It only requires one. I am playing it safe by having the two there. We have got cooling. Everything's fine. This is all good. Problems, uh, rooms without access. We haven't got an exit hatch. Uh, missing cooling line somewhere on this generator, apparently, which I can see if I go to... Uh, Water, no cooling. Yes, that's got a bit of an issue. Hang on, um, so it's that and that. There we go, that's now connected up. So, mostly in the green exit hatch. So, it is just a case of uh, mm. oh, yeah, a lovely uh, that's actually that horrible cold beverage. Oh, right, uh, so it's uh, it's not in birthing, it's in infrastructure, isn't it? It's in hatches, exit hatch, I think. Where where would one want to put it? Where's a secure area? Near the EV? I don't know. Near the bridge really is where you want it. At the front there, because well, as soon as I get hit, we can't get out the ship. But you know what? It's just it just needs to be there so you can get it now oh, for the requirements. Missing power lines somewhere. I'm aware of rooms without access. Loads of design operation less requirements unfulfilled, which is these ones. So all these are in the green, that's fine. So now it is a case of probably breaking the ship because this is where I try and connect it all up, can't fit it in, get really pissed off, uh, close the game, uninstall it, one out of ten. Uh, no, crap, game of the year. No, it, what's probably going to happen is I'm going to connect all these up and then have to do the power lines and then it won't have enough power on some of the decks and that means a full redesign, which is really annoying. Right, so let's try it. So it is a case of infrastructure and then hatches and it's just single hatches. So every single one of these does require a hatch. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to connect up all of these rooms as best I can. Uh, there's no real order. If I'm completely honest, we, I'm, I'm just, you know, smashing these together. As long as they've got a connector in, I don't really care. Which is bad, because that's not what you want. You want a large hatch. Ah, this is a problem. So this one here, this is going to be dodgy. We're going to have to come back to that one, because we're going to have to have corridors and all sorts of stuff. So uh, put that one there, this one in there, this one in here. And then water treatment is there. Uh, so to go to the different rooms, it's going to be slightly annoying. Obviously, multiple access in different areas. That one's even powered up. Get in. Um, like so. Sometimes it's not good doing that. Large hatch, which can give us access to the back there from both fuel tanks. That's fine. So, there's only, as far as I can see, this one that isn't connected. And the way we're going to have to do that one is really weird. We're going to have to have a corridor. Corridor three. Like that. And then we'll have to have a hatch of one. And then a large hatch there. Like so. And that's all of the rooms connected up. Uh, not enough energy. It says... Uh, we'll see. We'll see about this one. I think it. I think it's probably correct. So what I need to do now is literally go around and just click on a million different things to try and connect all these up. And then I think we will find that this is without energy. But we'll see. A lot of these have already got lines near them. So it's not much of a mess on to try and fix this issue. So connect all these up. So there you go. It's two energy short. Ugh. Okay. Another nuclear generator, which is bad because I don't want to put another nuclear generator in, but it looks like I'm going to have to. So I'm going to put it there. And that is exactly where I put it before, hence why it goes back in there. That is now fine. Apart from the fact that I haven't got a connection. Hatches, hatch. Um. So. God, it's really glitchy when it comes to. Look at that. There. That is weird. I'm trying to click on that and it just goes back. Ah. This is why I said I wasn't going to do a series because I like the game, but it's got a lot of problems with it, like, like that, which make it more annoying to do long term than, uh, than. Is like I say, it's really 
really annoying and places. It's it's got a lot, lot of problems like that that make you know a couple of sessions okay, but in terms of long time, I think I'd just get pissed off too much. So let's just connect all these up. I really hope that these should go in. I think they will. I think we'll have enough power here. It doesn't say anything's in orange, so it hasn't yet calculated that we're going to run out of power. We'll have to see, won't we? So again, connecting everything to the center, or most of the things to the center. And there without power too. This is problematic. So, where is our power? Reactors are here. Cancel. And then connect back up again to see if this works. Right, back to there. Back to there. And then we're still out of power. So we're definitely out of power. We now know this. This is bad because I don't have any way of really getting more power to this deck. And I can't put more stuff there to fill it. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. Let's go to connections and power connector. One could go... No, one couldn't go there. If it could go there... Then I'd, they'd be absolutely perfect. But it can't. In reality, we need to have a major overhaul of things and shift stuff around. And it's going to take an, an age. It's just a tiny bit of power that we're short of. I mean, it was, we're short of what? How many power? Short of 20 power. Just, just turn some lights off. Hmm. It's rating it as working, but I know it's not. I know, you know, I can clearly see that actually we are out of power there. So, there is a simple way of doing this. You remove three hatches. Obviously, we now got a lot of them saying, oh, we haven't got any power, but all I'll do is remove that. And they're fine. And then we need to put in... somewhere to get into that. Oh, that is really annoying. Clicking on it's changing the right thing over. And we're still out of power, so we need to get rid of one more hatch somewhere. So this you come down. You have to go through that way. You have to go through that way. That is into there. That is into there. This you go along. I don't like that for a start off, so I'm going to change that slightly. Go into here. Get rid of that hatch, so you have only one way in. And then, right, all in the green, all in the green, everything done here, prepare the simulation, save the blueprint as just the G-small tanker, version 1, save that design, don't really need to give a description, preparing the simulation, it looks like uh, everything's everything's a green. Everything's in the green. We'll save the ship class uh, again. It's going to be uh, G dash small tanker V one. Save that design and job done. So I'm happy with that. It looks like our projected SOP rating is going to be 133. That's pretty good. That's very good, in fact. However, I need to do standard ops. I need to do red, yellow, and blue alerts. I have to do all these emergency responses and the hostile encounters. And this is the bit I'm not a big fan of. I, don't get me wrong. I like the fact that you have to do it. But the actual controls of the characters and stuff, because there's no automation, is really annoying. Let's do a standard op. We'll try do a standard op. And we'll see what happens. So... Uh, preparing the simulation. This is All our systems online. online. Thank you for letting me know. Start the mission and pause it straight away. Actually, there you go. Pause. So, we need to go up to the other decks. So, we have four technicians. What I'm going to do is bring three of them in here and bring them to the engine. There we go. And then we'll have the... Actually, what we'll do first is we'll tell everybody to put on their suits because that's just a generally... That, that's just a, a one that you, you know, pretty much have to do. So we'll do that. And they are 
all suit they're all suited and booted and then i want these guys to go in there i want the medic to go into the uh, we actually go down here into water treatment i believe yes requires medics there and this requires technicians so it's just a case of going back down we'll unpause it and let them crack on actually no because these and these haven't done it so one two three there we go and then these can go into the engine at the back because the engine requires three technicians all oh, right and this is where everything starts falling down because you have to start ordering them around and do different things so there you go hoorah why are you going down there i didn't tell you to go down there i'm pretty sure i didn't Hang on. oh no that's the medic of course i did right you're all there apparently so at the moment nothing is broke but I'm sure that's not going to take too long to break. Let's just pause it. So, you can see that in here we have a couple of pilots. What I want to do is tell one of them to go here and do... I want them to wait. So I want them to wait for, say, 10. And come back to here and wait a minute. Like so. So that should be about right. So will he fulfill that? So you can see this one is permanent. Maintenance is overdue. Shall I just click maintenance then? Ready, sir. Are they not actually doing maintenance? Objective reach. Yeah. There you go. Maintenance is done. Strange. I don't truly get it if I'm completely honest with you. It's weird how you have to control them. These guys are doing maintenance here. That's permanent crew. And then these ones you can see are overdue maintenance. Let's just unpause it. The best thing to do is okay. just to move them around when, uh, I guess, it, when it's necessary. Because uh, it generally gives me, it generally shouts at me to tell me when I need to um, move things around. A lot of these require technicians in sort of four minutes, which is bad because it means that eventually what will happen is uh, <laughs> they'll, all, they'll all turn up and then it'll all break. So what we'll do, actually, we'll go control. We'll go for maintenance. I'll wait 10. Then wait 10. Then wait 10. We'll have the full crew wandering around, back into there, come back, and then give it a 10. And then give it a give it a minute in there. Let's see what happens. That was maintained. That's been maintained. We're going to wait 10 and move on. This one, does that one require a technician as well? It does require a technician. What I'll do... Because we've got a technician on this deck doing nothing at the moment. We'll say you can go there. Maintenance. And there's maintenance to be done on all of these as well. Look, you see the efficiency is going right down. Very fast, actually, as well. So these are all getting maintained. Maintenance, say, 10 seconds. Move it, move it. That actually, that's fine. Then maintenance, 10. Go. That guy, why has he got a slightly different order to the others? Uh... No, he's definitely doing his job. Well, I think he is. I'm going to tell him to go there, and then I'm going to say return to patrol. So now he's back on his patrol. So this guy's going back forward. That's not getting maintained at all. Ah, because it requires two technicians. Right, okay. In fact, you. Can you join his? Malfunction. No. No, I can't. So it looks like... How long is that maintenance overdue? Shortly. Uh, we're only five minutes through the journey. It it really is difficult to to actually order these guys around. So it looks like no, we don't need. They can't do maintenance there, can they? Return to patrol. Malfunction on B level two. Yeah, we're starting to break now. Things are starting to go bust, so I'm gonna to have to manually move them now. Malfunction. Oh, you can go over there. Can actually repair that because I don't want the cooling unit to explode, please. Right. How many men? Ah, it only requires one person. Malfunction. Look, these are waiting in there, but they're not doing maintenance. Strange. Right. Don't know why he's over there. Come back here, please. Maintenance done there. You can go down there. Right. So actually, how can I remove these? There is a way to remove them, but it's a bit annoying to do it. 
Right, so let's maintain all of these nuclear generators because I would I would say that maintaining nuclear generators is quite a vital part of any job. So that is getting maintained up to 60 odd percent. Yes, I'm aware. And the oh, nuclear generator over here is quite get hurt. Got, got a bit of issues, so we'll sort that out. Back to the Oh my good grief, everything's breaking upstairs. Right, just just go and dog upstairs, lads. Oh, what's broke? I think why that's got I think ah, cooling's broke. Cooling's broke, which means all of these are require cooling and it's going down quick. If I can fix the cooling, it shouldn't be too bad. Car module one of the system machines powered down. Do you want to switch it back on? Yes. Turn it back on, please. What? I think that just failed. Why did it fail? Um, it failed for reasons that I don't know because it just All skipped it. Anyway, on. that is enough of Starship Corporation. <laughs> As I said, I really like building, but this part, this part should be great. It should, be, you know, you should test the ship, go through the simulations, but it's not. It's just annoying. I'm sorry. It's just, I really want to like it. I really want to say there's a good part about this that's like, oh, yeah, it's this is great. But it no, there's no automation. The, the crew should, you should just be able to say, right, crew, look, you're a med, you're a mechanic. You know how to fix stuff. When the computer shouts this needs fixing, go and fix it. But no, you have to set up really tedious like places for them all to go, where in reality, everything needs fixing. So you know for a fact that you're going to have to lay waypoints everywhere or micromanage it to the to the hilt why not just automate it then if i don't have a choice of doing it i if i have to do it then what's the point anyway that is starship corporation as i said if it fills the niche that you're looking for then by all means go and grab it links in the description and all of that i want to build bigger ships but i know that once i've built bigger ships i'll get this part and just go ugh, what's the point as always thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings this is a great ship as well. It's a fantastic ship. It's just the crewer lobotomized morons.